What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another player review on my channel. Now today guys, we are going to be taking a little look at another player obviously and today we're going to be looking at a midfielder. And the player that we're going to be looking at today is a central midfield superstar who goes by the name of Matteo Kovacic. And at the start of career mode, this wonder kid is worth £3.8 million. He's 77 overall at the age of 20 years old. But once again, you're going to have to be paying a lot of money for him. He's worth £3.8 million, but I guarantee you're going to have to pay a lot more than that if you want to land this guy. And he's also an exciting prospect as well, so he's got a lot of potential. But now we're going to take a little look at his stats, what they look like at the beginning of career mode. And to begin with, his physical attributes, he's got really good acceleration, really good agility, and overall very, very good physical attributes. The only thing that really lets him down is the fact that he's got 56 strength. But now we're going to take a little look at his mental attributes. And at the beginning, he's got 86 vision, which is really, really good. 69 attack positioning really isn't that good. But then again, he is a central midfielder. He's not exactly an attacking player and he's not really renowned for that. 89 ball control, 87 dribbling, 81 long passing, 87 short passing. His skill attributes are just really, really good. A lot of dark greens everywhere. He also has 81 curve as well. And to be honest, I'm very, very impressed considering he's only 77 overall. These are some really, really impressive stats. He's probably higher rated as a left midfielder or a right midfielder. But now we're going to take a little look at the player information. He's 5 foot 11. He's right footed. He's got medium, medium work race. He's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves. He also has the flare trait as well, which is very, very nice to have. And he also has the dribbler and the playmaker speciality. But now that we've done that, we're going to take a little look at what he looks like at full potential. We're going to take a little look at him after eight seasons of growth in career mode. See whether he is a good player and whether he's reached his potential. At the age of 28 years old, after eight seasons of growth, Matteo Kovacic managed to get to a 90 overall. A massive increase in value as well. He's worth 54 million now and he is of course one of the world's best players. We're going to be taking a little look at his physical attributes. He really has grown a lot in them. Dark greens across the board and they're looking very, very nice. Acceleration, agility, balance, stamina and also reactions. Very, very nice for him. He also has improved a lot mentally as well. He's got 78 aggression, 83 attack positioning and 97 vision. 98 ball control, 97 dribbling. A lot of players at full potential seem to have ridiculous dribbling and ball control. He has very, very good passing, 98 long passing, 96 short passing. He really does look like a perfect, perfect playmaker to have. His skill attributes are almost as well-rounded as Johannes Geis. Honestly, they look really amazing. And now we're going to take a little look at his specialities. He already had the dribbler and playmaker speciality. But he also managed to pick up the distance shooter, the crosser and the complete midfielder speciality. And overall, Matteo Kovacic looks like a really, really good player. But does he play as well as his stats look? We're going to find that out now in the gameplay for Matteo Kovacic. So now that we've had a little look at Matteo Kovacic and what he looks like after eight seasons of growth in career mode, we're now going to find out whether Matteo Kovacic is worth you buying for your career mode. We're going to find out what his pros and cons are, whether he's worth you buying, and his value for money really, because he is an expensive player. And at the start of career mode, he's 77 overall at the age of 20. So you're going to expect that. And that's probably something that I will talk about a little bit later on. But to begin with, we're going to talk about what makes Matteo Kovacic such a good player for your career mode. And we're going to talk about his first pro. And his first pro really is that, well, he's an amazing playmaker. Obviously, you can see that by his stats. And uh, that is what you'd expect even at the start of career mode. He really does have amazing passing stats, amazing vision as well. And that can only get better. You know, at the start of career mode, he's got 86 vision, which is just madness. And it grows to 97. So that just goes to show he really does become a really good, well-rounded playmaker. As well as this, Kovacic has amazing shooting from outside the area. You'll find in this clip here that I go for a really, really good long shot with his left foot. But unfortunately, I just wasn't able to score many long shots with this guy. Either I was getting very unlucky or I just don't have a good enough technique. If you know a good long shot technique, a good power shot technique, you will score a lot of long shots with this guy. And I can guarantee that you will have a lot of fun scoring long shots with this guy. Unfortunately for me, I'm terrible at long shots. But I'm sure a lot of you are probably better than I am. 
It is also very nice that he has the double four star. He has the four star weak foot and four star skill moves. And that, to be honest, is a very, very big bonus for me. Because a lot of central midfielders like Geist that I've tried. Johannes Geist is a really, really good midfielder. He's probably better than Kovacic, really. He's just so much more well-rounded. But Kovacic has the four star skills. And that is exactly what I like. I like a little bit of flair in my midfielder. And he really is good for that. He's good at pulling off the skill moves. He's good at drawing fouls out of players. And to be honest, I played him in multiple positions as well. I tried playing him as a central midfielder. I tried playing him as a central attacking midfielder. And I also tried him as a centre forward in a 4-3-3 false 9. And to be honest, I found the most effective position for him being a centre attacking midfielder actually. As he gets a lot more through balls over the top to strikers that way. And I found he's a lot more effective in that position unless you are playing him as a central midfielder with a really, really strong defensive partnership next to him. I would only recommend playing him as a central attacking midfielder. But now we're going to move on to the cons for Matteo Kovacic. What makes him a bad player on this game and why you should consider not picking him up. And the first real point that I have to make is that sometimes he can be bullied off the ball and it's a bit inconsistent really, like his finishing, it's a little bit inconsistent. Sometimes he will feel really strong and finish a lot and other times it's just the complete opposite. Sometimes he will feel really, really good and sometimes he, he just gets lost in games really and that is a little bit annoying because it's a bit inconsistent. And he's also, do, it's difficult to find his best position as well. I tried playing him in multiple positions, but with the players that I had, it was a little bit difficult to find the real, real best position for him to be playing in. It's just something you'll have to experiment with, trying different formations, different instructions, different tactics, and eventually I'm sure you will find the best position to play Matteo Kovacic in. But apart from that, really, he doesn't really have any other thoughts about him. That's just me being a little bit harsh. And overall, I'd give Kovacic a 9 out of 10. He really is a fantastic player to have in your side. And I know I say this about a lot of players, but I definitely, definitely recommend that you go ahead and pick up Matteo Kovacic, guys. But this is going to be the end of this player review, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this player review. And if you want me to do more of these on FIFA 16, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. And leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want me to do this in FIFA 16, let me know in the comments down below, guys. And let me know what players you want me to review at the start of FIFA 16. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.